Uh, thank you, sir, for the opportunity. My name is Nit. I am born and brought up in Delhi, but I have my roots in Uttarakhand. I completed my schooling in 2014, and in 2017, I com- I graduated myself from uh, Delhi University from Maharaja Singh College, and got after that I got myself enrolled for Bachelor of Physical Education from Kurukshetra University, and finally in 2021. Uh, I uh, completed my master's from uh, Punjab, uh, Punjab University, Chandigarh. Since then, I am working in a uh, public school, private school, as a uh, PGT in physical education. My game specialization is badminton, and sports specialized uh, uh, and subject specialization is sports training. Uh, yes, sir, that's all about. How come your subject specialization is sports training? Uh, uh, because, sir, I found my interest in uh, sports training. And uh, as I am being involved in sports coaching, uh, spe- especially in badminton, that is why, because I have used the principle of sports training in my uh, practical training. Uh, so I found myself more connected with the subject. During master degree, is there any department like sports training? Uh, uh, no, sir. There was no such department. Then how come you had decided that your subject specialization is sports training? Sir, according to me, it's my specialization. I feel much uh, much confident in this subject. And I think I have the best knowledge uh, with respect okay, to other... Okay, that's fine. Uh, that means you are good in sports training. Y- yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is you, the name. You are, you are good in sp- sports training. But you yes. can't decide that your subject specialization is sports training. Until okay, and unless... Yeah, until and unless some university will, when any university will offer you a degree with sports specialization and subject specialization, that is your prescribed subject specialization. Okay, I think okay. in India, we don't have such type of any college that they will give the degree of sports training. Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah, that's why I don't think that your subject specialization is sports training. Yeah, it is good that you are good in sports, uh, especially in sports training. You may have the depth knowledge of sports training. Uh, yes, Yes, okay, sir. Fine. I will uh, take care. I will take care. Yeah. And you are from Uttarakhand. How come you had uh, completed your degree in Delhi? Sorry, uh, your school sir, uh, in Delhi. Sir, I said already that I am born and brought up in uh, Delhi, but I belong, but I have my roots in Uttarakhand. My father okay. and my mother uh, belong to Uttarakhand. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. And what is your yes. main game? Badminton. Yes, sir. Badminton is my game. Game. I have played up to national level. Which type of national? What national? Sir, open national. I have played uh, uh, five times. Five times. Any medal? Uh, no, sir. But I have uh, qualified for the main draw. Okay. When you have done your master degree in 2021? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And right now you are working in which school? Sir, in Richmond Global School in Pashtun Vihar, Delhi, uh, as a PG, postgraduate teacher. As a PGT? Yes. Yeah, it is CBSE or ICSE? Sir, yes, CBSE. CBSE. Okay. That means yes, you are sir. teaching 11, 12 also? Yes, sir. Yes. How many students you have in 11 and 12? Uh, sir, if we combine both classes, uh, then approx uh, 190 students are there. One? 190 students are there. If I all combine both have, 11 and 12. All of them have physical education subject? Uh, yes, sir. All of them. Uh, some have. Uh, some of them have as fifth subject and some of them as their sixth subject. So, yes. Okay. Some of them are using it as an additional subject and some of them are using it as a main subject. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you are taking class at a time for both? Uh, no, sir. I have been given periods and according to uh, it only, according to my timetable, I have to take classes. Yeah, that means for additional students also and for main students also, you are taking class at a single time? Uh, sir, uh, what school is saying to us, uh, because uh, it is not mandatory for us to give classes for additional subject students. But we have to give the subject, uh, uh, we have to give the classes, those who are having physical education as fifth subject. So yes, for them it is mandatory, but for those who are not having it is as in its main subjects, then for that it is not mandatory to give the classes. Okay, then how, in presence of you, how some of them, them of the, this, some of they had taken as additional and some of they are taken as main, that means what your role? Uh, so, uh, so when they why, were... Why they hadn't get motivated from you to join as the main subject? Uh, sir, basically it was not uh, on my part that, uh, uh, because I have nothing to do with this, but yes, definitely when they were in, uh, when they were in 10th class, there was a session in which uh, we were, you know, giving them, we were, uh, we were counseling them uh, we were telling the uh, uh, career prospectors about the subject so yeah we have given this and many of them uh, you know influenced by by that and opted physical education and some of them not opted because they have some you know uh, tech uh, tech friendly they are more tech friendly so they have uh, uh, gone for ip uh, kind of field yes what are the careers you had yeah, what are the careers you had discussed with them 
Uh, sir, uh, first of all, sir, I gave uh, I gave them the idea that what are the I, uh, what are the career opportunities, and I I started with the uh, with the career which are highly paid jobs such like uh, sports therapist, sports uh, uh, nutritionist, uh, physiotherapist, uh, sports psychologist. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sports uh, uh, there are there is a uh, field such called a sports uh, journalism. So these were some uh, some of the uh, field that I mentioned them, and I insisted to go for them as well if they uh, like to uh, take physical education as their main subject. Being a subject teacher of physical education and being a teacher, you hadn't explained your career, how you had become a teacher in physical education, and you had explained all the profession apart from you. Sir, I started with these kind of careers where they because. Uh, because nowadays the career which gives See, you yeah, more um, you may get some students and smart students who will tap push denge sir aap bhi to ho aapka ye career kaise hai if sir, these are the only definitely. careers and scope yes sir definitely sir i started with these kind of career who were highly paid and at the end i went to myself only i said that i completed this degree from there and this degree from there and finally there is a teaching sector uh, in teaching sector i uh, i told them that there is school field there is college institution and many other factor online uh, coaching lessons today uh, today in boom for physical education as well so there are yes uh, it is a very open field uh, we can't restrict them to only one uh, particular thing so this teaching job uh, uh, media sector very uh, very vast field i must say okay so you are good in sports training uh, uh, yes sir according to me uh, you think you are good in sports training yes Yes, sir. yes, yes. So if I give you students of class six, yes, sir. and they are just beginners, they don't know nothing. Okay, sir. How many days do you want to train them the basic skills of badminton? Sir, sir, uh, if you are giving me uh, absolutely fresh students, then uh, in the starting days, I will definitely go not go for skill training. What I will do is just let them play whatever they want to play. Okay, I will start with this one. so that they will in, uh, gain interest some and once i feel that uh, they now uh, like to come in the ground so starting uh, steadily and slowly i will you know uh, uh, introduce some skill of badminton for them and then uh, with the help of recreation games uh, i would like to you know uh, 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 i would like to take this method more progressive civilly so yes sir uh, slowly and the by the time and sir if i'm saying if anyone uh in the sport in the badminton field saying that uh, you give me this time and i will be preparing student and they will be giving medals so it's a big lie to be very honest sir, it's a big lie because it's not in the in, in in the hand of physical education teacher because they are fresh tips and badminton is a very technical sport it takes uh, more than 5 years 6 years 7 years and and even careers whole life and some uh, uh, even the whole life is not uh, you know uh, enough to get uh, that career Uh, which we are think so yes okay what main physical components play the main role in badminton uh, i would i would suggest sir uh, strength endurance uh, flexibility and definitely sir coordination because coordination have direct impact on the skill of the of the game so yes sir. no need of speed sir definitely sir speed yes as a i i i, uh, I didn't say speed then it's fine stay yeah uh, because you had Said strength. You had said endurance. Then you had told that agility or coordinated ability, and just yes, sir, you had left with speed. No, sir, so according speed. to you, that means in badminton we require all strength, endurance, speed. Exactly, sir, it? exactly. It's a complete package. Sir. Complete package of all the fitness fitness components. Definitely, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then what type of training you will use them? You will use for train them in strength. uh sir because they are because you have given me the fresh students so i will start with a simple method of uh, simple method of strength training which includes overall body exercises so that all types of strength will uh, will be improved in them so yes sir uh, for at least for uh, initial days and because sir as you said uh, these are 10 uh, 10 10 around uh, 10 years of age so I would like to, uh, you know, more rely on the body weight exercises. I would like to avoid some uh, weights, right, right, sir. Uh, so yes, definitely, sir. Body weight exercises will be recommended. I will do some isometric exercises, iso, uh, iso kinetic exercises. But yes, I will, uh, I would like to avoid uh, weight training, iso tonic exercises for some time. Who had, like, who had developed this iso kinetic? Uh, uh, sir, iso kinetic method was developed by J J Parin. Uh, in 1968 yes sir. okay fine thank you